Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2, rocking my new Saurian scale cape. And boy, do I have some good news for you, really for all of us. I was a bit, um, I was a bit silly the last couple of episodes because I had been frantically looking for a greatsword because I have this quest to turn it in in order to unlock the warrior vocation, but I needed the greatsword from Trevno Cave, which I had collected, but if you recall, Hey, look at that Wickstone shard. Thank you, Saya. Um, it was on Googly Moogly's person when um, they they were killed by some phantasms and the body just disappeared very, very quickly. But last night, after I was done recording for the day, I was sitting on the couch, I was browsing some YouTube, and I thought, wait a minute. Isn't there some sort of safeguard against this? And I looked it up, and in the original Dragon's Dogma, if a pawn dies... The equipped items, and this is a borrowed pawn, if a pawn dies, their equipped items, they will go back to the owner. Anything that's not equipped and just simply on their person goes into your storage. And wouldn't you know it, this whole time, you know where I'm going with this, the stinking two-hander was right here waiting for us. Oh my word. Oh my gosh. So we have it. We can now go and turn this in at the Vocation Guild and we can finally unlock Warrior and start to unlock Silverius's full potential. Oh, I'm so excited. I almost got off the couch and came downstairs to record just so I could get him into the Warrior Vocation. Marvelous. You have acquired both an Archer Staff and a Greatsword. You may now change your vocation as desired, sir. What's more, I bear glad tidings. It would seem our arms shortage is at an end. I dare say the armory will be resupplied anon. Okay. So now I can go and buy better gear? Which is funny because he said we now have new stuff, but really what you should have is simply an archer staff and a greatsword. I don't know how you'd get more supplies than that, but a hey, video game logic. All right, let's go ahead and immediately go over to Silverius, change that to the warrior, using great swords to effortlessly cleave through massive foes. Their strength allows them to withstand attacks and overwhelm the enemy. Oh my goodness. However, one thing we should probably do, because one thing that they mentioned about augments is as you unlock augments as a particular vocation, you can use those augments with any vocation right but certain augments can only be purchased after you've leveled up a certain vocation now he is a rank 5 fighter so what do we have as augments provocation increases the likelihood of being targeted by foes i definitely want that as a warrior so i'm actually going to buy that and we'll equip provocation and now we will go over to warrior you've unlocked the warrior vocation change to this vocation absolutely Fundamentals of battle. Warriors are at their best when fighting at the vanguard, cutting down foes with a single swing of their greatsword and charging through the enemy ranks without heeding their blows. Their attacks cleave a wide and devastating arc, but their movements are slow, and stout as they are, they cannot withstand an onslaught indefinitely without aid. Okay, and this is about if you're playing as a warrior, so it doesn't really help us, but you can charge your attack. You can uh, do R1 to barge, which is really good for staggering, and then follow-up attacks. When you land an attack using triangle, it will change to a powerful, successful strike if, and this is pretty much exactly what it is for the thief as well. Oh, good. Wait, did I just change? Ju I just changed Julie. I just changed Julie. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I can just go back to Thief. It's it's really no big deal. I just spent 150 discipline points when I didn't have to. She's already back in her gear. Wasn't paying attention, clearly. Ah, all right. Well, vocations. There we go. Go to equipment menu. So he's got our two-hander. Very, very nice. He can't use the rapier anymore. He's also not going to use a shield any longer. Oh, look at that helmet, though. Gladiator's helm. I love it already. He's rocking the tribal brace. He could use a foot soldier armor, but that would reduce his, his overall armor. Hopefully we can get an undershirt for him, though. That'll work. Okay, rings still work, though. That's great. Now, 
Let's take a look at his weapon skills. Actually, let's look at core skills first. Bulwark, reduces damage taken from hostile during a charge attack. Absolutely want that. And weapon skills, he's got Skyward Sender. And we get Rending Sweep, we'll buy. And Bellow, shout to draw the attention. Yeah, so we want him to be our tank, pretty much. There we go. And I think we have a single... Single Seeker token, yep, so that won't do any good. That'll be really nice, though. Ring of Triumph, but that's at 15, so that's going to be a bit... Slightly boost maximum health, stamina, and the maximum amount of weight that the wearer can carry. Do I need to take a look at Julie's weapon skills, though? Probably. Shadow Veil. Okay, so that's even more difficult for enemies to see it. I could do Skull Splitter. I have been using that a lot. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and get the new Skull Splitter. I really do like Ensnare. A Biting Wind is cool, but I don't actually use it as often. What if I use something different, like Concussive Step, just to see what that's about? I don't know that I really care about Pilfer. Do we want Concussive? See what that's all about? I think so. Blast may cause lightweight targets to flinch. Also deployable in air. All right, let's do that. Let's switch that out for Biting Wind. And give that a go. Okay. Always a pleasure. A fine vocation. Now. No doubt chosen for better unison among our party. Now, now, now. We have Silverius. Uh, our quest. Our current quest is the ornate box. But I don't know that that's ready. Because that said come back in a few days, right? In a few days time. Same with Scaly Invaders. So we will go back to Monster Culling. But first let's go check with the Smithy. And see what we can do about getting some items upgraded. Got lots of money at our disposal finally. Silverius is a warrior. He is looking amazing. Can't wait for you all to take him out on adventures. I want to hear stories. I really do. And where am I going? There we go. You look a little suspicious. I didn't hear the story. It was well told and all, but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. I haven't learned much, that's for sure. Uh, why does this sound like every influencer out there putting ads before YouTube videos saying, this is how I make $2,000 a minute doing nothing but drinking Gatorade? But just buy my video for $39.99 and I'll tell you how you can too. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from then? Makes a man wonder it does. Keep an eye on the beggar. Gather round, gather round. Interesting. Alright, can I can I talk to you? Hi. Got some coin to spare your humble storyteller. Yeah, I'll pay a hundred gold for that. Much appreciated. Gather round, gather round. Wait. Treat your ears to a tail but you didn't tell me a story. story and should my story entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall tell of a serpent with powers most fell. Our hero ventured into a shrine long enclosed, whereupon he found serpent and soldiers in battle opposed. Though to the soldier's aid he would fain have leapt, unease overtook him, so behind a pillar he crept. And not this ladder can take us to new heights. After you, Arisen. Then the shrine grew deathly still, and our hero was all alone. For every last soldier had been transformed into stone. Wary of his foe, and with presence of mind, the man crept up to the pillar upon which twas entwined. Seeing his moment, he unsheathed his blade and brought the pillar low in a thundering cascade. 
The gloating serpent was caught by surprise, and with a pitiful hiss, neath the pillar it writhed. Till mustering swiftly the last of its might, to the depths of the shrine did the monster take flight. Thus, with a wit as sharp as his sword was honed, did our hero put an end to the threat imposed. And who was our hero? Why, needless to say, it was the father of House Berkeley, which lives on to this day. Hmm. Okay, so the story of Medusa is what he's saying. Now, if I talk to you again, you're just going to ask for more money. I don't know if his stories actually change. What does the quest say? Watch the beggar as he goes about his day and see if he can... Oh, okay, so we're actually supposed to spy on the beggar? I might do that. That sounds kind of fun. But first... Are you in the market for something in particular? Possibly. Oh, you do have some new stuff. All right, let's see. Burundian brand, but that's for fighter. You don't have any daggers, at least as of right now. You do sell some bows. Oh, you do have some daggers. Okay, let's check. Let's check queen. Oh, all of these would be upgrades for you. Massive upgrade with the Savage Fang, but also 17,000 gold. Gonna focus on our own for now. Sorry. Sorry to say. Do you have any other two-handers? You do. Ooh, we could give you a steel urchin or a war blade. Look at that. From 232 to 292. Look at the knockdown power on it. Yep. We're gonna be focusing on Silvarius first and foremost. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and buy that. Absolutely amazing. What can we do to enhance signs of valor? Upgrade one. I, I do miss in Dragon Zama where you could just skip to the furthest upgrade that you had available. Okay. Oh, I probably need to either sell or get rid of this stuff. Because this is when I accidentally chose a warrior vocation. So I can't do anything more. I need two more putrid gold teeth for that one. Uh, you know, what? I'll do at least the first level of upgrade for all of my armor. Pretty cheap to do that, just for a little bit more. Uh, I could bump this up again with Harpy Pinions. I'm not worried about that, though. Let's go over to Silvarius Warblade. Scrap Iron. All right, Scrap Iron typically comes from goblins, I think. Kind of a rare a rare get, but let's upgrade his, his armor at least once. There we go. All right. And then let's go on a quick selling spree. So we're going to sell that. Oh, wow. 1,900 gold. That was actually worth it. The 150 discipline points is going to turn into a few thousand gold just by selling all the armor. That's actually kind of smart. Just want to make sure I'm not selling my own equipped armor, but I don't think you can sell the equipped armor, right? Ring of Awareness. I thought I put that on Silvarius. No? Did I not? Okay, get rid of the... Wow, Silver Rapiers are 2,900. Why not, right? We still have... Okay, we still have a camping kit. Panacea is worth 1,000. That's really good. Fantastic. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good here. Now, question is... How long before he... ...starts going? There's a whole lot of talking. Again, I don't love the keyframed subtitles. Maybe I should just turn some of those off. Wait, can I check the armor in the meantime? Welcome to and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Oh boy. Okay. So we got the unseen shadow. Let's look at chess pieces though. 
Oh, interesting. Look, at it actually has question marks for the vocations you haven't found yet, which I appreciate. Ooh, I could put the Hunter's Mail underneath the cloak, and that looks pretty cool. Ranger's Vest is okay. I could do Scale Jacket. It's pretty heavy, though. That's 2.56 compared to the Ranger... Not the Ranger's Vest. Was it the Ranger's Vest? Yeah, Ranger's Vest. That's actually 2.17. It's not huge. Maybe we'll do the Scale Jacket. That looks pretty good. It's 11,000. I have enough. That's a huge jump in defense. It would be absolutely silly not to. Okay, let's grab that. And let's see if there's anything else for Silvarius really quickly here. Okay, Gladiator's Helm. It's only... Is that... That's actually what he's wearing. So what about a chest piece? Guardian Plate. That's 12,000. Oh, it looks so good, though. He could also wear the scale jacket. I don't have enough. All right, I think we'll need more money now. There we go. Super happy about that. We'll leave everything as is. Okay. And I guess I'm just going to kind of wait this out. I might just pause the recording while I, while I sit and wait for a little bit. I wonder if there's a bench nearby. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm going to pause the recording. As soon as he starts walking, I'll bring you back. Well, I grew impatient, and I ended up just going and sitting on a bench and dozing off, and it's now evening. He's gone. But uh, this gentleman's still here, so I wonder if he could say anything. Don't bother talking to me if you... No, he cannot. He does not. All right. So where might he have gone? We'll look around for a moment, and then we'll just move on with the monster culling. I probably did just have to sit around for an entire day and listen, but he started to repeat his stories. He did tell me another one, though. Where's the worthy... How did you see a chest all the way down here? Okay, lantern's on. Yeah, he was telling a story about a giant, which was actually pretty interesting. A giant that was uh, just striding right through the oceans, and the water was only up to his knee, and it was Lord Rosamond, who's the father of House Berkeley, same one as the Medusa story, that, uh, oh, you folks are going to bed. Um, let me take your Roberant, and I'll be leaving. But yeah, it was Lord Rosamond who made the giant leave, apparently. Oh, there's a ladder there, though, so if I can get... Okay, if I can get up there, I can get on the rooftops. What do we have here? Some copper ore, nice. So what if I just go in here? Do you have stairs that go up? Nope, you sure don't. So how do I get to that? I wonder if I can actually just, just like this. Maybe can I get on the forge? No. Okay, what's what's the way forward then? No egress here. Oh, hello everyone. Is that is that money? Oh, there's an ornate chest. They probably should mind me doing this, yet here I am. A fluted bow. I can hardly wait to Tell you what, I might not be willing to spend a whole lot of money on my friends, but this is strength 153. If I give this to Queen, it's worse. Never mind, give it back. Or at least give it to Silverius, I'll sell it. Not all chests contain treasure, you know? Well, there was treasure, it just wasn't great. Hmm. Don't run into any trouble today. Yeah, it just feels like I should be well, maybe I can get it on get on right here. Okay. People are gonna get mad about this, but I mean it can't be 
<laughs> it can't be denied. That works. I do need to make sure that I put my weapons away because I am learning that town folks really, really do not like having your weapon drawn near them. Not at all. Jasper times three. I don't know if that's going to be an upgrade material or if it's just for selling. Well, that's that's a shame. I don't know where he where he went. And I'd have to run around the entire town and just get get lucky. Unless, do you think? I wonder if he's just in the ale house. Sure, Mildred. I have an eye for people, and my instincts tell me you're of trustworthy ilk. I I don't even have my face towards you, and I'm in a very mysterious cloak. You have some good taste. I'm in a bit of a quandary, you see. I'm to be gone for a week with no one slated to mind the house in my stead. Fear not. I only ask your name to list as a tenant. You needn't bother yourself with the cleaning, and I don't expect you to stay cooped up in there neither. I'd be much obliged if you'd simply consider my home a waypoint on your travels. Sound appealing? Then come on by and have a look-see. I've taken the liberty of marking the location on your map. I'm sorry, did Mildred just approach a stranger on the street asking if I want to rent her house? I mean, obviously I'm going to, but before that... Is the beggar in here by chance? Brant's still hanging out. Almost done, Brant. Two, two-thirds done. This actually wouldn't have been a bad place to watch over the beggar, though. Alright. Is that my priority quest? Nope. Let's put that on. And let's go meet Mildred. <laughs> Find out why I'm going to become a tenant while she's just away. You've come. Glad to see you, friend. So, what say you? Would you care to live here in my absence? As I've said, you needn't worry about tending to the place. Many thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I'll stop by again in a week's time, but till then, farewell. I mean, that's really suspicious, right? We will find much better rest in an abode than out in the elements, methinks. Let us make good use of it while we can. Wait, can I actually... It is no great shock to me. Can I actually rest here? And this is my storage. I like that. Can I... Can I sleep? Oh, I can sleep. Okay. I wonder if our house is going to be a thing. Well, let's let's sleep till morning. I've longed. So now I can save 2,000 gold? My pawn is returned. All right. Hey, he defeated a Cyclops. Very nice. Defeated three. So now we're up to five out of 30 for Cyclops Clobber. Got 163 Rift Crystals. Also got a Strawberry, Nomad Drive Fruit, and some Fruit Robrant. Let's see, from Queenie, Dorothy, and Maddie. Thank you very much. Excellent. All right, so what is... Do we want to do another... Just keep going after Cyclops Clobber? Or we can tell him to acquire something. So you have... It's interesting, though. You have to tell him to acquire something that you already have. But I'm going to I'm gonna leave it as... Defeat Cyclops, and I will give... I did 900 before, right? I'm going to do 750. I'm going to be cheap. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm doing 500. 500 gold is still not that much. Time out. I did remaining. That's not what I meant. Not at all. There we go. So enjoy your 500 gold for anyone who kills a Cyclops. You'll not believe the journey I've... A good sleep does wonders. Off we go then. Excellent. All right, so we just have to stay there for a week, but we don't have to stay there, stay there. We just need to, I guess, be the tenant for a week. All right. Well, we're not going to leave that as our priority quest. Let's 
put it back over to monster culling. We have one more, the monster threats at the eastern edge of Vermont. Hmm. Okay. So make that priority. I do just want to check in on the square to see if the beggar's back doing his thing. I imagine he almost certainly is. Yes, okay. Well, we'll we'll tackle this another time. Is there Yep, there's an end, an exit here. Our inventory situation should be looking pretty good. There's a treasure around here. One that I may or may not have gotten already. Oh, yes, this is the soldier's treasure that I just went and stole. Got that fluted bow. And there's still a griffin. Yeah, we're not going to be dealing with a griffin. Unless that's the quest. Hey, you can review. I'm going to... Look at that majestic creature just out there in the field. Oh, Silveria, seeing you with a two-handed weapon just... It makes me so happy. Whoa. Is this where people are going to farm for discipline points? It seems somewhat imposing. Uh-oh. Oh, soldier. We're not helping. We, we're absolutely not helping yet. Mm-mm. I know not everyone wants to see me just run away from fights, but this is one I am not going to be engaging in. We tried that before. Did not work. I really, really love the landscape. Uh, okay, so I can't get there this way? How... how do, then? I'll collect that. Can I travel along the water's edge? Oh, actually, maybe. There's a campsite there. Ooh, fun little fishing spot. Ooh, some ore deposits. Not trying to dash. Rats. Got some Saurians. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go cross that bridge. All right. Which does also mean I now have to get past the Griffin again. I think there was just some apples there. Some dead fish on the docks. Absolutely beautiful little stream. Love it. Ooh, what do we think's under though? Actually, there might be something here. Great. Whoa, what? What did I just take damage from? Is it... <laughs> oh, it's rats. Um, alright, well. Now we're going to be sidetracked just a little bit. Because I'm curious where this is going to lead. Leeches. Um, 
Wasn't ready for those. I kind of thought, you know, Bitter Black Isle is where I might find them. Leapworm skims, that's exactly what they were. Oh, bandits. How'd we do? Pin you down? Oh, you're dead. Doesn't matter. That was thrilling. I I love the silly high fives. Oh, okay. Protecting this chest, it's gotta be something good. It doesn't have to be, probably won't be. Ripen Princess Harspun. And some Rift Crystals. Sure. Why not? Alright. Worth exploring. That would have been a good place, I think, for... A Seeker's Token. See if I can spot anything interesting in the distance. No, we can check this little hut out. Come to think of it, the private quarters of one arisen I served had many a visitor, and rarely the same one. Now there's a thought. Wait, what's the thought, Silvarius? Oh, why am I picking up rotten scrags of beast? All right. Lantern off. Let's not waste oil. Alright, ready? We're gonna run in there with concussive steps. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, Silverius. Absolutely putting in work. You know what I miss? Notice boards. That might seem silly, but I do. I miss it. Oh, that damage is great. What did he just do? Pin? Wow. Just excellent. You still fighting something? No. Hey, level 14. Gladly take it. And Severus already gets his first rank up as a warrior. Beautiful. Well Did I just level up twice for that? Why? Well, that was quick. <laughs> All the level ups, they come so quickly. Yeah, I wonder why those are coming so fast. Alright, there's a chest over there. We are none of us alike in why are we killing the pig? Ooh, do I want to do the bridge below the waterfall? Yeah, I do. Oh, especially because this guy's going to need some help. Get that tail. There's a campsite, but I don't need to camp, obviously. Indeed. It was enough to make one pity our foe. No, it's not. Ready, concussive step. Get behind. You're going to toss him at another foe. That's why I love you. What is that? Cyclops? Cyclops. Okay. Here we go. Get up. Oh, why am I attacking his arm? I need to get up to his head. Oh, 
Oh, all right, you know, I'll tell you what, let's go on this big rock. If we can. Oh, come on, let me up. Yeah, it's just making me slide down. All right, we'll just... Oh, nope, nope. Big hit, big hit. Knock him down. One, dude. Come on. There we go. Good damage on his leg. There we go. Yes. Knock him down. What? Is this him toppled? Oh. That's unfortunate. Let him on fire. Come on, fall. Fall down, would you? There he goes. There we go. Right on his head. I'm not really on his eye, though. That's where I would do the most damage. Jump. Get off. Look at that action shot kill. Very nice. Oh, I love it. Combat really is just so much better. We've defeated a fearsome foe and lived to tell the tale. One cannot ask for more than that. Now, he broke a tusk off earlier, though. Hmm, not really sure where it is. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. I imagine there probably is a nice little cave down there. Where is it? Gone. Nah, that's where it is. Gone very quickly. This this party is oh, what did you What do you suppose you found? A seeker's token. Excellent. Must finding these be so difficult? I agree. Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. I'm really excited for more people to bring out Silvarius, and he can just come back and tell me everything he's learned. Useful ingredients to be gathered here. I'll wait. Looks like a forgotten riftstone. It's a shame that those can't be places of fast travel. Okay, we're at the site. This is the last one for monster culling. Hey, people are already in danger. Okay. Protect the shipment. Steal yourself. Cut the fiends down. Don't let them touch the shipment. Take out the big guy. Good. Little skull splitter action. Oh, vocation rank up already. Oh, you're just a pawn. Okay, an official one from Capcom, but still. I thank you for coming to our aid. That was a tight spot you saved us from. And what luck! Nary a scratch on the wares to show for it. All right, not not bad. Oh, that golden trove beetle was kind of supposed to be for us. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. Not gonna make camp. We're just gonna head back. But I will take a little bit different way. How's that? Well, maybe not a completely different way because we do have to, you know, obey the laws of nature which say we're not allowed to swim because of the brine and all that. This does 
ability to trip over nothing never ceases to amaze me. Silverius the snark. These things happen. Okay. Do we want to drop down for the treasure? Sure, of course we do. It's blue. Oh, get out of the brine. Get out of the brine. Get out of the brine. Please don't anyone else fall in there. Learn from learn from my misstep. I am in awe of your powers of detection. Oh, careful. Where are my friends? Um, so that wolf. Oh, I still I do still have ensnare. Oh, our oh, Silverius. Absolute beast. Pardon me, rat. Sorry. Good XP to discipline ratio, though. Interesting grass cart down by the water. Might have to do some inventory management here soon. Maybe after I, you know, mine. Okay, let's give Silveria some stuff really quickly. At least, at least get us to average. That works. All right, maybe we're not actually taking a new way home. An abandoned campsite, just waiting to be claimed. Well, I guess we can. We can kind of go west. What's the snarling? We've got choppers. There's no debilitation. We've got choppers. Oh, from up there. Are you guys hiding something up there? Is it just the bones? All right, I'll gather some bones. Oh, and some wolves too. And some saurians. Oh, this just got gnarly. I see no in hunting down such a okay, got his tail. Oh, up. Just narrowly avoided. Watch it. Wow, this got this got gross. Severus is in a real big problem. Yeah, we really need some ice powers to deal with these more effectively. Oh, Severus got a nice heal from Saya though. Okay, one more. And I think that's it. Right, good. That went that went well. <laughs> well ish. I've got a good feeling about Whoa. Harpies? Oh, is that a boulder I could have knocked down, by the way? Sure looks like it. Did we get the harpy? Oh, there's another one here. Oh, it's over here. No, I'm going to keep moving. Ooh, some ruins. I always love to see ruins. And sounds like there are bandits, though. Oh, 
Oh, don't drop that. Yeah, let's surprise him with a little explosive barrel, if these are, in fact, bandits. All right. Yeah, you know what? You earned that. What do we got? We got some harpies, too? That was pretty smart. That archer shot the explosive barrel out of my hand. Can't even get mad about that. That was, that was clever. Another fairy stone, which, of course, just makes me want to just fairy stone back. What else we got in these ruins? Nope. Pin you? Oh, Silverius, it, it's kind of, it's kind of brutal. Take the panacea. Oh, that is a camp pack. That's going to make me heavy, very heavy. Yeah. All right. So that's going right into his inventory. Oh, apparently there are more? Were more? Did Silverius just catch up to me? Must you run so fast? I can hardly keep you in my sights arisen. Yeah, well, no time to somewhat the rest. point. I want you to always be working. Pawn just out in the middle of nowhere. Love it. Back to our dead Cyclops friend. So what? Am I 16? I'm 15. So very caught. Not only caught up, he exceeded. Well, good for him. I almost just attacked you. Don't do that. Now, was there more that I had to do before I could actually gain access to the Queen Regent? I'll put my weapon away. That was just... Oh, because I had it out. Look at the ox cart. I love that they actually just come and go throughout the day. They don't just sit and wait for the player character. The world feels... It does feel alive. A lot more than the first one did. That's not a cave, is it? Plentiful hereabouts. No. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. <laughs> Someone asked me about Severus' voice, asking if I had some sort of special selection. No, he is um straightforward nonchalant too. That is the voice that I chose when I created him, and it didn't sound anything like this when I created it. It just kind of worked out this way. Changes in the military's makeup. I've heard the same. Indeed. Tech, how are we to get through this door? What door? This? Is it locked? Fascinating. Let's see if there's not a way through. What are you doing? Is there a hole in the roof? Hmm. There's not. Well, that's weird. And I can't break it. Looks like my luck's run out. Who just said their luck has run out? Ooh, I can't wait to find out what's inside. Inside what what are you destroying? Did you, did you just take out that farmer? All right. Well, we'll have to eventually come back to that. Uh, 
Oh, what is this? In the event of a monster attack upon the city, citizens are advised to flee the vicinity and take refuge in a safe location. Well, yeah, I can always bring them back with wake stones. Not the most ideal, but I, you know, it's an option. Excuse me? Sorry, it's... I'm gonna put my weapon away. I'm just out of breath because I'm carrying too much. You know, I probably should just run around the city at some point, because I bet there's just so much right along the walls. I know Grand Soren had a lot just on the outskirts. He's already gone. Where'd he go? Got any tails? No, but where did he go? I don't know. Hmm. All right, one of these days I am just going to sit there and watch him all day long. Oh, wait. We shall not stand for unfair pricing practices. Why should Beastrins be expected to pay more gold for the same wares? The merchants of Vermund have less integrity than a horde of goblins. Ooh. It kind of makes sense, but that's the first time I've really seen the the uh, animosity towards the Beastrin. Greetings, Your Majesty. Have you a moment to speak? Quick, let's move four feet over this way so we can talk in, in private. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. You've done a fine job culling those monsters, Your Majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who delivered them from danger. The number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the Arisen grows by the day. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Disa can no longer deny your presence. And ere it slips my mind. Pray, take this. Tis a symbol of my own gratitude. 7,000 gold. Expeditioner's Cloak. All right. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. All right. Well, tell me the Queen Regent. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you. Yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels before now. Though... I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. Hmm. Now, the one thing that I'm unsure of is how to tell the time. I don't seem to have any indication of the time. Right? It's not on the map. It's not on the world map. It's seemingly not here on the pause menu. The, wait, the Arisen Shadow? Contend with your pursuer? What pursuer? Did I just get that quest someone is looking this way is there aught about me that caught their eye oh i didn't even notice who was it well let's make that a priority but i don't see them Should I go back up into the into the bar? Because it was when I jumped down, I think that 
Silverius had mentioned it, but now I don't see anyone in the square. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us. Okay. Above. Well, tell you what, we have leveled up. Silverius has some vocations or some vocation ranks that he's gotten. Let's see what we can't go and spend our discipline points on. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Have you I do have another Seeker's token. At least take it off my person that way. It's not going to, you know, weigh me down. All right. Acquired equipped skills. Silverius, you have new augments. Vitality, maximum health. Yes, absolutely. Oh, and we need to equip your other ones as well. That would have helped. Okay. He's got 4,300. So we are, we've already done Bulwark. Now we have Breakneck Strike. Charge attack to inflict greater harm by unleashing at the very instance fully charged. And Chain of Blows. Let's buy both of those. And Weapon Skills. Oh, four new ones. Revivify. Gives the user second wind, curing them of some debilitations. It's a skill, though. I don't know if I want him to be defense. I mean, we well, we do want it to be tanky, right? So we're, we're going to want that. What do we want to replace a so goring lunge charges forward running targets through with the blade that's pretty cool ladder launch oh okay we like that one we like that one and i think i'll put that on instead of bellow and i like surging strike so let's put that instead of running sweep i guess Yes, that works for me. Now, Julie, you have nothing new. Yeah, nothing new yet. Okay. Always a pleasure. All right. Well, we now have a new... Well, we have a couple of new quests, but we have Disa's plot where I have to slip into the gate between midnight and the morning. And I might be able to do that with Shadow Cloak or Shadow Veil if I want to put that on. Otherwise, it might just be a matter of, you know, playing a little game of don't get caught by the guard. But we'll work on that very, very soon. For now, that's going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2. Hope you're still enjoying this adventure with me, Silverius, and currently Queen. And say uh, very soon, I'll be able to rent all of your wonderful pawns. So if you'd like to be in the running... Put a comment down below with your pawn ID and tell me a little bit about your pawn, what they currently are uh, vocation-wise, level-wise, skill-wise, and maybe I will be able to bring them aboard. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying, and I will see you next time.